Welcome to a bit of a five minute or less conversation on what does peer review mean. This is Brenda Luther and I'm the course mentor for EBT1 and I find out that um, many of us are confused by the term peer review. So it's just a process of examining submissions for a journal or a textbook. It's the way that we make credibility of evidence. What's presented in scholarly journals, we want it to be um, credible, we want it to be current, we want it to be up to date, we want it to be as flaw free as possible. So we have experts in the field of either the content being presented or maybe the methodology of a research review, um, whatever is valued to the readers to help us um, believe that things are credible. You want to know if something, if a journal is peer reviewed, you can do a couple things. You can Google their journal homepage and ask. Uh, They'll have every journal has a home page. They all have their editorial board. And look, there's um, me. I'm on this one. Uh, this has been a journal that I've worked with for years, and I'm on their, their staff of editors and reviewers. Another way that you can find out if something is peer-reviewed is by looking at the citations in EBSCO Host. So I just searched obesity and research and came upon this journal. Now, they call themselves a journal article. Research is bolded, tables and charts are presented. It's the journal, uh, International Journal of Nurse Studies. If I look at their publication, details does say they're peer-reviewed. And here's a hint. Almost everything placed in EBSCO host and CINAHL is peer-reviewed. So really what you should be thinking about for EBT1 is that peer review doesn't mean anything about the type of journal that the or type of article that the journal is publishing. It just means their process for assuring credibility. It just refers to the scholarship of the journal's processes. What what why do we care about peer review? Well we're evidence based and our evidence better be credible knowledge. Peer review helps us do just that, uh, present credible and applicable con, uh, content for our readers. And it helps us know the value. Does peer review mean I can use any and all of the articles that that journal publishes? Uh, you know, still the value of an article is up to you and your discretion and your use. It certainly implies that it's credible. Um, does it? But what you now have to think about is you still have to know what you're reading. Are you reading a piece of research? Are you reading an opinion piece? Are you, you reading a review of literature? And that will take us to our next uh, five minutes or less talking about what is primary evidence. Thanks.